Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. It is, uh, shoot, what is it? Wednesday, 5 o'clock Pacific time, and uh, we are excited to do this tasting. We're a, it's a little bit chaotic here. We are uh, a little behind the times. We're hanging in there. Not behind and, the times. Uh, We're just... Uh... Behind the, the moment, I yeah. suppose. Uh, <laughs> it is still uh, exceptionally hot here, and uh, that's okay. We've got something delicious to uh, to sip on and to cool us off, I guess. Uh, but first, in case you're new, that's Phil. Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome to the Bourbon Man. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. Good to See? meet you. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Um, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. It's way past 5 in most of this country. And... Uh, uh, well, we are going to have uh, some Rob. fun tonight. We are just going to do um, a bit of a sh sort of a shotgun tasting, a quick one here tonight, because like uh, we know that there's plenty of other places to, to get to. Uh, we just wanted to um, celebrate a little bit. This is our, uh, this month we're releasing our 100th video, uh, well, for the channel. A big well, deal I, for I us. do like that. Well, that's exciting, and, but you know. You look excited, though. Hopefully you're excited, too. <laughs> and uh, this is... Uh, this is really our, our first time really um, uh, with new software and doing a live tasting. We haven't done any of this stuff before, so uh, yeah. we will do our best to uh, do a good job for everyone. And uh, really quickly, just want to introduce the idea. Thanks a lot, uh, Rob. Uh, just really want to introduce quickly the um, the idea of what we're doing tonight for the t-shirt uh, giveaway. We've never really done anything like this, and so we are... Um, for every dollar that you uh, contribute via Super Chat, you'll be entered to win a t-shirt of your choice from our store. Um, and uh, we've got a lot of t-shirts we're pretty excited about. We just redesigned all of them uh, in the last uh, um, couple of weeks here. Um, so uh, there's lots of good ones out there, And uh, but we wanted to just give something back. We've never done anything like this, so that's what we're doing tonight. Also... This is the new T-shirt. You got the new T-shirt. I yeah. know. So we, I, per usual, Norman is front and center, you know, <laughs> on uh, all of our T-shirts. But I'm really excited, and it came today. We've been uh, a little bit waiting for it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it got delivered to the neighbor's uh, place. Can't really um, see it real well, so, so I'm gonna toss it out. It's got a little keytar going. Commemorating. You know, uh, it, you know, a lot of different. It doesn't things. have to do this T-shirt, but I just think it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, Wendell sipping on some Bardstown Fusion Number no. Five. That's Pretty good thing to sip on tonight. Rocking the new software. That's right, Lyle. We're rocking new softwares, yeah. new shirt. Uh, we got new. We got uh, new mics too. So we've kind of been going back and forth from lapel mics to the to the other. You call it the other one. Whatever that. The non lapel one. The fancy one that is acting up, and it was a. It's good outside, not as so much when we're inside. Yeah, so. it creates too much of an echo. So yeah. we're trying. We're getting new technology, new software, new hardware. Um, here we come with the. Uh, well, it's a Look brave new us. world for us. Look at us. Just getting crazy. <laughs> Just getting crazy out here. Anyway, um, you want to tell them what we're uh, going to be doing tonight? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, tonight we are tasting three whiskeys that we've been sipping on for a month now. One of them was given to us by a friend of the channel, and two of them we scooped up ourselves here in Oregon in our travels. Um, and it's it's all Redwood Empire, uh, and it's it's... Sonoma County, California is where it's bottled. We know that they make some of their own juice and they mix with uh, other distilleries. Um, matter of fact, this bourbon here, I believe, comes from four different states. They blend from four different states. So mm -hmm. um, some interesting things happening from you know, this brand and uh, we don't really know much more than that. They're, this one's at least four years. And the, anyway, the Redwood Empire, there's a lot going on, a lot of information and um, so we're going to start with the bourbon, we'll move on to the rye, and then we'll move on into the boo rye, which will be something completely new for us. And, and uh, yeah. Phil's been tasting a few of these uh, the last couple of weeks. I have not, so you'll get a fresh reaction from me uh, <laughs> on all of these, which will be fun. And you, if you've been watching, which I'm sure you all have, uh, I am. I love a good label, I love a good bottle, and yes. I will say that they do a good job. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you're a if you're a fan of uh, John Muir, uh, like we are, um, and uh, the thing, the the naturalist, you know, we're hikers, we're runners, we like getting outside, and uh, his name is sort of synonymous with that out west. So um, yeah. we're this is a cool brand. The sketches are cool. The idea behind it is great, and uh, we know that they 
um, do donate some good causes for each bottle that's sold. So uh, it's a pleasure to support uh, Redwood Empire. Uh, well, so far, we'll find out what we think of them when we start <laughs> doing this tasting here in a few minutes. David Babcock from Milwaukee, Oregon. Hello, David. Hello. Welcome. Um, okay. Are you ready to get into this? I am, and I'm hoping that I didn't mess up the glass order, but I think I put mine down correctly. Okay, so this good. This one is good. Starting on the right, on yeah. our right. Um, by the way, we do not have the lights on tonight on the shelf. It's, um, it's pretty warm in here. It's about 80 degrees in here. It's only going to get warmer here in the next little while. So uh, we are... <laughs> it gives us a nice little... Uh... <laughs> it's a yeah. trademark at this point. Yeah, um, yeah absolutely. We're... Um, we're going to go ahead and get started, and uh, what do you say? I'm ready. All right, cheers. Cheers, guys. Thanks for uh, joining us. Thanks anyway. for joining us. I noticed you went straight to the mm -hmm. tasting. As I was drinking, I was like, <laughs> didn't even... Uh... <laughs> Ooh, it's yummy, though. I so like 90 proof like on this nose. one. Sorry, guys. You know me. I'm just going right for it. Yeah, 90 proof on all four of these. Or four, four. 90 on all three of these, and they all sell for... In the neighborhood of forty dollars, although we do know that some people have gotten them on sale for thirty yeah. here and there, so I'm a little jealous of that. I'm always jealous for a good sale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the nose of this. There's a little bit of leather here. Mm -hmm. Some. I'm getting a little caramely. Some citrus, some caramel. Yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, I like that. Well, I mean, I've already gone in, so. Yeah, I gotta um, have a I gotta have a sip. Why don't you give them some tasting? Are we cheers again? Why not? It's like my first rodeo out here. Hmm. <laughs> that was a bigger first sip than I normally take. Nice though. Mm -hmm. We are going to give you a little of uh, what we'd like at the end of this, right? Like which ones? We yeah. Can... I mean, I'm sure we'll like them all. Right. We want to. We we but... we will say a good, better, best at the end. Though. Oh yeah, good, better, best. Yeah, I think that's, that's the right idea. Um, mm. Oh, I like that right off the bat. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's it is a, a little. It kind of took me by surprise. A little thicker than I was anticipating on that, on that initial. Well, I guess my second sip since I cheated. It is a nice but, viscosity, though. Yeah. Yeah. The um, the flavors though, there's a little bit of like a peanut, but it's more like a dickle peanut, like a sweet, mm -hmm. like a mm -hmm. um, maybe not like not quite the circus peanut, but there's a little bit of that there. It's very sweet. Yeah, it's, it definitely has a nice sweetness in there. I am getting caramel. I get caramel, leather, maybe some popcorn, um, and that and the nuttiness. So there is a there's a there's a product I haven't thought of for many many years, and it was caramel corn with nuts, mm -hmm. and it was all sort of in a, it was in a box. It was all glue, like goo, gooey together. Okay, had a little character. I don't remember the name of the character or what it looked like. Um, I think it was called, I think it was called Fiddle Faddle or something like that. Does anybody remember that? Am I nuts? Does anybody recall that at all? Um, it was, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. That's what this reminds me of a little bit. It's caramel, peanuts, gooey, nice mouthfeel. The only thing I keep thinking about is Cracker Jacks because that's what you always got at the ball games. Right. I don't remember but, Cracker Jacks having nuts. Hey, like Christopher's on it too. Christopher's Cracker got Jacks. it. He picked it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I've never heard of Fiddle Faddle. Or like the name sounds familiar, but not as a caramely delicious treat. But I trust your memory much more than mine. I feel like there was a character with a little little toy in a box that I used to collect or something like, I don't remember. I don't remember. But anyway, little popcorn, caramel, Yay. nuts. There you go. JD remembers Fiddle Faddle. JD, remember? Okay. I'm not, I haven't lost my mind completely. That's good. okay. John's on it. Austin's on it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I, but it's a thing that I like. <laughs> I, I don't feel quite so, uh, quite so ridiculous now. Um, and then there's a mintiness on the back end here. A little peppermint mm -hmm. makes me think about no character on the Fiddle Faddle. But okay. Well, that one I missed out. So, uh, so you're thinking of Cracker Jack when you think about the character. I right. had like a little sailor's cap or something on it. Right. <laughs> Could be. Oh, no. um, well, popcorn, peanut butter, yeah, that kind of thing. It's mm -hmm. very sweet, but there's a mintiness on the back end. Reminds me a lot of um, some of the white pepper mint combo you'd maybe get from an MGP product. Yeah. Um, so I like this. I like this bourbon. And again, 90 proof, mm -hmm. $40, a blend of several different barrels from different states. And different distilleries and some of their own juice. It'll be. I and by the way, we. This is the only stuff that we've seen here mm -hmm. um, in 
Oregon, the Redwood Empire. We've never seen any of their other specialty stuff. We know that they have other stuff out there. So we can only speak to these three, but um, so far so good. I like it and I'm curious to see where they'll go with their own juice in the future. Yeah, and at 90 proof, I mean, you're not looking for anything to, you know, kick you down the street or something like that with that kick 90 proof. Street. But I, I, you know, I'm surprised by, by the flavors that I got mm -hmm. out of there. I mean, it does kind of wane a little bit sip to like as you sip it a little bit you know more but yeah yeah for being a, a young a young lady <laughs> right she's only four years or something this one um aged at least four years i want to say that this one's like i want to say that some of the stuff in there is a little older based on what i've heard okay. online but uh i don't know for sure for sure all we know is what we see on the packaging here right. so um that's pretty good the mouthfeel of that the viscosity of that Quite good. I like that. I like it. Not bad for the first one. Dr. Dubs, what did I miss? I want to know about Last Monarch. Oh. We're getting there. We haven't yeah. got there yet. You are, you are just in time. We are one Well, not just in, in time. We are, we are one in. Yeah. Um, and uh, what do you think? Good. So far, so good. Okay. Great. I mean, there's, you know, there's very few things that I don't <laughs> dislike. Right. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I... For my first time out, basically, I, I thought it was delicious. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, are you ready to move on to the rye? Should we talk rye? I do because, I, you know me, I'll just keep drinking the glass and then I won't be able to compare it at the end and then I'll, you know, it'll be one of those days. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm gonna swap out the bottle. Nope, there Nailed we go. Um, <laughs> this it. one, like all the other ryes out there, the label is green. Um, I suppose because rye, Grain is green, and all the brands have started, uh, well, have consistently uh, shown green labels in the past. So, pretty yeah. sure that's why that is. But I like that. Um, it's a, I like that whiskey companies do that. Yeah. Punch, pipe dream gets better with a cigar. Uh, I bet it does. It seems like one of those that would balance well with a nice sweet cigar. All right, on to Emerald Giant. The Emerald Giant is, again, aged at least four years. And um, I had read online that this was three to five years, but if it says four years at least, then even we'll better. Take it. Let's give it a go. It's got pretty sweet notes. I really like the rye notes on this one. Um, this is this. You know, there, there's a couple of I whiskeys. Whiskey. <laughs> there's a couple of whiskeys that I really rye whiskeys, I should say, where the the notes. Um, where the notes are uh, very rye-tastic, like the rye grain totally comes through. And that's exactly what you get here. This is the nose alone. It's spicy, it's sweet, It's and it's rye. It's a great indicator of rye. So if uh, this is another one that I think just from the nose, it reminds me a little bit of Wild Turkey 101. I always say that that's a great introduction to rye because mm -hmm. it's a ton of rye. If you're going to like rye, you're, you're going to like Wild Turkey 101, because in my mind, that's what rye tastes like. Yeah. Um, so this one has a little bit of that nose, even though it's 11 proof points lower. Um, the nose comes through here. This smells very minty to me. Are you getting that on the nose? Yeah, yeah absolutely. There's um, not necessarily regular mint. Um, not like not like mint. Um, Ooh. We haven't yet. Oh yeah, we haven't started Loki. No spoilers. No, spo no yeah, no spoilers. <laughs> we can't wait. We're starting it as soon as they release Wednesday, so that we can just binge it. Yeah. Because sitting around for the wait in a week. But yeah, I don't get like I don't get like mint mint leaf like fresh mint. It's more like spearmint, like sweet spearmint that you get on a gum. Right. Which is not always my favorite thing, but this is really nice. Should we try it? Yeah, I'm ready to try it. Are you? You asked I'm me. Always ready. We're gonna cheers again. Let's do this. Hey, it's a new glass. <laughs> so, I'm just always so happy. That's very spearminty. I I I hate to even say um toothpaste. -y. Yes. A little bit. A little I'm bit. giving you a real, real time reaction since I haven't had this at all. Um, um, so I would say a little bit toothpaste, but I would say good toothpaste because there's a difference. 
Well, I mean, you know, when your mom's all fresh and clean, everybody loves that. I just am saying like, you know. Well, what I what I taste is the, the mm. sweetness of like- Very sweet. One of the, like a- That sip was better. Like aqua fresh, mm -hmm. if it was made into like a mint, like a candy. Oh, like I was going to say, isn't it already like mint? Aqua, I don't know. aqua fresh as a wrapped candy. That's what I get here. Wrapped candies. <laughs> Hmm. There's talk of bullet rye going on in the chat. I don't have a problem with bullet rye at hmm. all. Matter of fact, that's usually what when hmm. you go to a, a bar and they don't really have a lot of rye, that's usually the one that's behind the counter that you can count on. Although I would say that we recently had Jim Beam randomly at, at the tiniest bar I've ever been, the Prohibition style or pre-Prohibition, hmm. mm -hmm. which I'd never had. I think it's fairly new, but I might be wrong on that. I was actually really satisfied with that. It was a good, that was a pretty good rye. I'd like to get some on the shelf and do a proper tasting of it. You know, this is this is an interesting one because I want to say yummy. Like it is yummy because it tastes, you know, it's almost like uh, having a little spearmint disc or something. You know, like a little candy disc. Yeah. But it's just interesting because it's you're drinking it. Yeah, I would say that. That's, I'm not saying that I dislike it. I'm just saying like it's just interesting. Yeah, I I like this. I think that the spearmint takes over. Um, and and unbalances it just a touch, which is too bad because I think that the rye, even the, the rye spice itself gets overwhelmed by the mint. Um, and I like mint on the finish. Um, this is good, but um, I think that's the thing for me, that the mint sort of takes over. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the, the bourbon strikes me as being a little bit more well-balanced, which I didn't expect. I agree. I would say the glass number one, the, the bourbon, forgive me, what is the name again? Oh, Pike, Pike Dream, Dream. Um, was definitely more well balanced than this. I'm almost fishing around for more flavors. Yeah, um, it's that 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 spearminty is a little bit overwhelming. I know there's real nice sweetness under there that doesn't have anything to do with that mint. Right. It's a little. It, yeah. It's not super rye to me. Uh, yeah, it's not as rye as the nose is. Yeah. But it is. Yeah. I mean, it's still balanced. Still has rye spice. There's some white pepper there. Yeah. Um, I still I do like this, but it's not the super flavorful, intense rye that you get from some other products out there. I, yeah. I would say like Wild Turkey 101 rye, um, yeah. I would definitely, you know, something like that, which is considerably more affordable, well, I would so take I before this, this one, but I do. It at 42, I mean, yeah. I'm 40 across the board, so. Yeah, there's a lot to like mm. with this one, but it's definitely not topping the list for me. That's a thinker. This one, over or under 25 years until craft whiskey becomes more mainstream like mm. craft beer has. Thank you, Jake Miller. Uh, good question. I think that, well, and actually I just read about this in, Lou Bryson's Tasting Whiskey book that uh, it, it's it's already growing really rapidly. I think that there's probably a little more red tape when it comes to whiskey, and there's less of a um, immediate uh, payoff with it. You have an investment of several years, or you're sourcing things. So um, it's it's tough, but it is nice to see so many hometown distillers now. I you love know, that's, that. That is it is growing rapidly. Absolutely. That is an interesting point about, I mean, to to really have a product that you want to put out there, you do have to wait year, right? years in the making, yeah. which is why people buy from established distilleries already, you know, the juice to get started. So it's interesting. But I mean, even in just the last few years, just talking to just friends and family, I mean, bourbon and whiskey drinking has skyrocketed sure. in my opinion like it was just it never skyrocketed in this house definitely in this house it's just <laughs> not something that i you've thought about it over the last you know yeah whatever, it's always, been, whatever, it's always but, been on the shelf but not like it is now yeah um while you're drinking a jack daniels single barrel rye we haven't had the regular single barrel rye yet um of course we like jack daniels single barrel barrel proof um whiskey the tennessee whiskey and we love the uh, single mm -hmm. barrel 2020 special edition, but we have not actually sprung for just the regular single barrel rye yet, or the regular Jack Daniels rye. So yeah. those things are uh, they're coming sooner or later. We just haven't got them yet. Yeah, that's good. That was good. Um, let's see how are we doing on time. I want to make sure that we're we're moving it along here because I can get I can go into a whiskey and just keep going. I like it. I mean, <laughs> you know, have fun with people. Uh, do we want to try the other one? I, I do, like like I said, I take healthy sips whenever I'm tasting things. And I do want to save for the end because, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty much following along 
in my head already what I'm gonna like and what I'm not gonna like. But I just took one more sip of this. Nice. Viscosity is very good. Yeah. Um, it does coat nice, and the finish is longer, I think, on the rye than the bourbon. However, it's uh, it's less. It's the finish is less complex than the bourbon, I think. Should have zoomed in on these labels. They are awesome. They are cool. Um, John Beckham says, I love trying the local distillers. They got hit hard by COVID. Absolutely true. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, usually you can walk in and talk to the people who are, the, a lot of people that work in the back, work in the front as well. So yeah. um, you're going to have really interesting conversations generally at a local distiller. We love it. So what have we got here? This is a boo rye, effectively. It's Redwood Empire. Again, Lost Monarch. Again, $40. Again, 90 proof. Um, a blend of straight whiskeys. What we understand about this one is that the ryes are aged three to five years and the bourbons are aged from four to 12 years uh, that they use. Uh, and I believe that this is Indiana and California. So it's just two states for this one. So I'm guessing mostly MGP and a lot of their own juice. But again, we don't know that for certain. They don't really say all we know is what we see online. So that's just, again, a guess. So we will see. James Lishfield's drinking a Wild Turkey 101 Boulevard deer because he's fancy. Yeah, I would say. I like it. Yeah, these Lost Monarchs, not super available across the country. Getting better, I think. Lost Monarchs. The Redwood the Empires. Redwood Empires. Yeah. Probably the Lost Monarchs, too. I was just reading. Yeah. Um, it is um, the nose of this one. I kind of want to see. Is easily nose. the most complex, I would guess. Don't you think? Wow, the the, the bourbon now smells very caramely. Is there a lot happening on the bourbon? Let's find out. I'm just wondering if I smell them together. Oh yeah, if that bourbon is the same that bourbon is caramel corn for sure. Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. Almost a little um, leathery now on the nose. You know how I on always the bourbon. Like yeah, yeah I got bourbon. a little leather there before. I always like to go back and forth. Yeah, it's more absolutely. fun that way. That wow. interesting. There's a lot. There's a lot here. There's a lot of complexity on the nose here. There's a little pepper, a little leather, a lot of oak. Actually, really nice oak, and yeah, it's charred oak though. Like there's, it's almost like a, not necessarily scotch like, but there's a little smoke there. That's really really nice actually. Kevin says, Lost Monarch is my pick of the three. All of them are great, though. Cheers. Cheers to you, Kevin. Should loving, I try this? Loving that photo. Everybody's got great photos. I know. Yeah, I think we need to have a sip of this. This is, this smells, and there's a touch of mint here. Again, all of these have a little bit of mint on the nose. I'm ready to sip this when you are. I'm ready. You ready? Are we, are we going to do it again? Well, why stop now? Class, a different, <laughs> you know, if we're ever all hanging out, I'll probably cheers the whole night. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Expect a lot of cheers, a lot of high fives from Julia. Oh, lots of guys. high fives. I'm a high five girl. Mm. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Wow. I had like an immediate, um, I That's had, a, well, mountain, I had, I had, a mountain of flavor. I was going to say, I had an, an immediate reaction, which is, I think, different than I've had from the other ones. The other ones, I kind of sat and thought about it a little bit. And this one, I was like, yeah. Hmm, Lyle says you're going to have to build more shelves or get a bigger van. Both of those things are on the table at the moment. <laughs> we are trying to figure <laughs> We're not going to give you our license plate, obviously, because we'll, we'll, everyone will know how to find us. So. That's fine. Uh, Come on out. Let's go. I am trying to figure out a way to like build in something like in, a, in the van. Obviously, we have the bed yeah. and then underneath we have all the storage. But if we can do like little sample, like something to like hold all the samples kind of hidden away. Oh, well, How, yeah. Wouldn't that be awesome? Like, well, it could what be, like thinking, temperature controlled. What is the, the, uh, kind of what is the thing from those movies where they have like the, the X with the bullets in them? Like Bandolera? Is that what that's called? Like they keep the big bullets in the this in an X pattern across their chest. Like I want to have that. Like John Popper with his uh, harmonicas, but yeah. just stuff it with whiskeys. Oh, yeah. Well, That's I, how I want to tour the country. All I keep thinking is like a shoe rack that we've now manipulated it. Like so now it's just like you know, like 
Yeah, that sounds yeah. about right. Yeah. Love the van. Have you done a tour? Hope to get a class A. Actually, John, um, we've we've been around, we've gotten around a lot. We're doing our first for this year major tour. And really last year was kind of a wash. We had to stay local because of everything happening. But we're excited this year because uh, Julie's running uh, the Chicago Marathon and we are going to be uh, we're going to be heading that direction, looping the country going all over the place. So you're going to see a whole lot of outdoor footage and, you know, hopefully quality videos. We'll see what happens with it. We'd love to do a lot more travel stuff and, you know, popping into distilleries and that sort of thing. Um, next week, as a matter of fact, we're hoping that our first distillery visit slash tasting with a head distiller uh, video will be live. We don't know for certain if that's going to happen yet. We're hopeful. We're optimistic. Yeah. David Babcock, by the way, says Rittenhouse, Wild Turkey 101, and Old Forester Rye are great budget ryes. Pike's Bills is fake. The, I mean, all on the shelf 100% of the time here. We love those. Yeah. We love them. Wendell says he got stuck on the rye. Yeah, that'll happen. Mr. Fanatic strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> just straight your leg. So I look, the throwback from last night. I, and I've got so many rules. Yeah, if you haven't seen, if you haven't joined us on Patreon, you're missing out on the on the live streams where I just act uh, pedantically and uh, talk about how if I was a superhero, I would be the worst one ever um, because I, I would just go, I would show up and explain things to people rather than actually do anything to save the day. Just tell us how to do it, and then you know, it's all right. <laughs> I like it. Bandolier. Hey, I got that right. I guessed right. Thanks, everybody. That's just your lady. <laughs> not so old granddad says folks sell perfume like that on the subway. I'm not sure what you're referring to, but I like it. The bourbon hall. Yeah. Kenny Newell showing from Texas. All right. Bourbon bandolier. Great idea. Maybe that's what we need in our store, in our shop online. So, sorry. I, I, I kind of... Uh digressed off of actually talking about this one because I was just like, oh, I like it. And then I just got distracted <laughs> as I do. Um, I like this one the best. I'm going to tell you already. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. I like this one the best. It feels the most for 90 proof, right? They're all yeah. 90 proof. Um, it feels the most complex. It yeah. feels the most flavor feels. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It tastes the most flavorful. We very haven't balanced. Any tasting those yet. We've this just, one, this we've one just been talking is, about. We've just been talking about the van. It truly is a perfect blend of the bourbon and the rye. It's caramely. There's a little nutty miss, but but not nearly as much as the bourbon. It is. It's got rye spice. It's got mint. It's very flavor, flavorful, and it keeps giving. This one is one. So this one reminded me. I was sipping on it the other day, and it reminded me of a situation where I was mm -hmm. in a department store with my mom when I was a kid, and she okay. was. You know, I was waiting and waiting and waiting, shopping, just trying things on, and I and I found this chair, this great big I know exactly leather what you're chair, about. Yeah. and I was like, I gotta sit in that. Yeah. And I sat in it, and I was like, Oh, this is great. And then it started rocking, and I was like, Oh, oh. this is giving me Fancy more than I thought stuff. it was going to. And then I leaned further back, and my feet came up, oh. and I was rocking with my feet. And it was like this huge yep. thing, and so. This whiskey reminds me of that. It's it's not a recipe. It's a feeling. Oh, I should just do it. It's a feeling. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> it, this whiskey just keeps giving. This is my favorite. And I honestly thought that it was bourbon rye, boo rye, um, as good, better, best. But today, I'm enjoying the the bourbon more than the rye. So the the pipe dream for me, actually, I, maybe it's because we're drinking the bottle further down and getting more yeah. from it. Um, but I thought it was bourbon, rye, boo rye. Today it's um, rye is good, bourbon's better, boo rye is best. So that's really interesting to me. By the way, John Beckham says he meant to tour of the, the van. Yes, I know you're waiting on it. Uh, we actually don't oh. even, it's not even here right now. It's, it's we're still, the parts that are being installed are delayed and one of the parts that's being installed needs to be done by a professional and uh i'm i'm not a professional anything so well uh, i mean just not when I'm, it comes to cars let's be honest i'm barely a human so <laughs> there's just no way uh that i was going to be able to do that so and um, I, that's why that's not around we wanted to do a before and after of the van but we were camping the weekend and then we were tearing it apart like we literally rolled in Threw everything in the lawn, 
started undoing stuff. We were halfway through and Phil's like, crap. And he gets out his <laughs> camera and he starts doing it. So we will do, I mean, we can show you a few pictures of the before, which actually is pretty awesome. Um, but because we're going, we want to go on some longer trips, there's just some things that we need to work out that yeah. over the last three years we have discovered could help well, I mean, a happier situation. Happier for that. us, happier for the cat. <laughs> um, we have to take all that stuff into account. Yeah. Not so old granddad, by the way, says the bandolier folks sell perfume in those on the subway. That's something I've never seen. I have seen what are those uh, Belgian those little sippers that you're supposed to do to settle your belly, and supposedly you don't get a hangover from them. Remember, you see them at the beer bars. Pepto Bismol. No, but I see their bandoliers frequently. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, actually. Um, but uh, yeah. Are you thinking about Fermat Branca makes a bandolier? That yeah, there you go. I knew somebody did. Are you thinking about upgrading to a bigger vehicle? We think about it all the time. We daydream about a lot of things. Um, we've actually looked at uh, Class A stuff, and for the time being, I think I think we're happy with what we've got. But if we decided, if we ever got the opportunity to stay longer term on the road rather than just a couple of months at a time, if we ever went yeah. longer, I do think that we would uh, move along. Because our van, we um, we have. I don't know if we've ever told you what we have, but we're, we're riding the uh, Ram Promester, the 136. Yeah, it's a 136 inch. It's pretty five. small. I mean, it was the longest, the largest one they had at the time that we decided to do this. And then, of course, the year after they came with the 159, the 170, whatever. Um, and so the only thing we thought about was potentially upgrading to a slightly longer one. Yeah. But, you know, then we have friends who have like little RVs or little trailer campers, and it's just like, it's so hard to make what showers in there. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a major investment, and one of the—I mean, we just got this thing in 2018, and um, we're really happy with it. It's been a great adventure mobile. It's been a great weekend warrior mobile, and um, we're going to keep it for a while, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I like we, it. We we love it um, yeah. for what it is, and it's and it's it's treated us very well, and it's been great. Um, professional whiskey guests around five said Fridays proved that. Hey. Look, uh, we're doing pretty awesome. good. I. Honestly, I never thought that we would get anything right, and we've done way, way better than I anticipated. And I will say, I'm not surprised. Phil's got one of those like crazy brains that just like sucks it in, and then he remembers things. I have a dictionary that I can yeah. sort through, but I don't have the recognition, the immediate palate recognition like you do. Your, your palate is much better than mine. But like I think I said just on a recent video, like every time I drink something, I'm always like, wow, this is great, even though it's like the 18th time I've had it. Um, but I feel, thank you, Lyle, I feel like we're getting a little bit better. We're narrowing things down. I'm pretty mm -hmm. happy with my ability to pick proof. It ultimately is a team effort because Julie will tell the proof and the tasting notes that she's getting. And I know she's right. I go, oh, yeah, I'm getting that too. And based on what she's saying, I can guess. So yeah. if we ever had to go up against each other, we, it would be a colossal failure. But because we can hear each other, we're doing great. Well, I mean. By the way, JT says uh, Underberg. Yes, that's what it is. Those little sippers that sell your belly, supposedly. The little Belgian sippers. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to look that. Next that time up. we're at Apex in Portland, I'll, I'll show you. They, they've got they've got a giant thing where they throw all the caps. Whenever somebody buys one, they take the cap off and throw it on a. Boot. So I think point, they have like 50 boots now. Or so is the like point that. when you're finished drinking, or like you drink it before you start? What's the point of it? So you drink it. I think it's both. Now and then, like you just have at it, and then like. To now and later, and then go home and then <laughs> cross your fingers. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Um, Teamwork does make the dream work. That's right. Yeah. I, by the I'm way, I keep I keep returning to this lost monarch. I'm gonna go back the other way real quick, and then a quick AB because it's just three of them, so it'll be real quick AB. I want to know. Yeah, I gotta yeah, go back yeah. to the ride and see if it's see if it wakes up. I almost pretended like the other ones aren't there. That sounds bad because I did enjoy them. It's just interesting when one one stands out. Mm -hmm so much more than the other ones. Mm -hmm. Though I, I do really enjoy the smell of the bourbon. Yeah. John says, the love the show, guys, and the van is awesome. John, we really appreciate that. And um, I clicked the wrong one. I'll come back to you, Lava Man. Uh, love the show. The van's awesome. Love the camping videos. Keep them coming, but I think you need more surface for bottles. Agreed on all fronts. And uh, just to, to throw one thing out there on Patreon, um, one of the videos that we're going to be releasing in the very near future that we're hoping to make a consistent thing of that's strictly for Patreons. While we're out and about monthly, we shoot a lot of B-roll. We shoot out the, out the window of the van. We, you know, chit-chat or we visit Unless distilleries and we chat a little bit. 
we're going to be releasing more of that type of stuff out there to our patrons to begin because we don't really know how well it'll be received by the full channel. Um, but uh, that's something that uh, will be exclusive for patrons in the in the very near future here. So we're excited about that. We love the travel side of things and the adventure side of things. We're hoping to do a lot more of that. I will say um, Phil is definitely like the techie side of this on the chatty side. Can't help it. And the smiley side. Um, and he volunteered me. We were coming back from Rainier like a few weeks ago or whatever. And he's the psychiatrist too, which we need. Yeah. Um, and uh, whiskey psychiatrist for hire, please. So was like, hey, you know, a passenger. I was like, I'm gonna take some B roll, you know, of the video. It's beautiful. The mountains are there. It was a beautiful day. I mean, it was hot. Whatever. We're going out of the national forest. They have those beautiful wooden sides or whatever. And I did everything vertical. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you making an Instagram story? I was like, no, this is for you. No, apparently. Guys, I'm not upset about it at all. Unusable. It's no big deal at all. It's, I mean, it's yeah, not unusable, of, but like nobody wants to see. Well, you can use it for your story now. Yeah, nobody <laughs> wants to see a horizontal 16 by 9 video turned into the other, right? Lava Man says that uh, Underberg, is that what it was? Is a digestive meant to be taken as a tonic after a rich meal or a night of drinking a settled stomach? Ooh, I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's like you a tonic. It about... But probably more delicious. It improved. Bourbon Tech. Well, your name is like it. Yeah, we like that a lot. Uh, actually, I uh, um, uh, manage a technology company, uh, websites and educational software for the most part. And I uh, work for an advertising agency, and we do mostly uh, tourism. So destination marketing is pretty much what I do. We do have some local businesses like credit unions and and a health organization. But I work with my internal marketing team on the creative, so and digital assets. So hopefully you're still with full, us. Full time jobs, keeping it rocking after after work with these uh, live streams and videos. <laughs> it's a good it's a good uh, break. Did I see real life? Did I see Bourbon of the Week in here somewhere? I could swear. Oh, there he is. He's wants an East Coast trip. Oh, yeah, we're coming, you know, man. So I, I think it's I think it's two years away. Even when we lived in the man, Midwest, we only got there like once or twice. So it is. We love DC. We West. love Boston. I'm a little bummed. So really, we love it. We love it over there. Yeah, our big trip this year that we're trying to put together, which hopefully will end the procrastinator per usual, mm -hmm. and. <laughs> That all sounds accurate. We're trying to nail down like our dates and how long we're going to be gone. But obviously, as you all know, the fall offers its own issues with weather, where yeah. it could be beautiful or it could be flipping snowing in October. So the East Coast, and we're going to have to back that up a little bit just to make sure we get some good weather. Not that, even though the fall is like the perfect time to be there. Um. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll shoot. We're going to be all over the place. It's going to yeah. be great. Uh, nice van. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, hey, man. Nice that was man. one. That was probably well, my T-shirt available, guys. That was probably my favorite moment of the channel so far. Mm -hmm. As we were approaching a hundred views or a hundred videos, hundred views. Before we get there, uh, as we're approaching a hundred videos, that's probably my favorite moment. I'm gonna say I just took a. You know, I'm so involved with like just chatting with all of you guys and chatting with you, of course. That I just took a sip of that rye and I liked it better than I did earlier. I did too, and I still found the bourbon to be yeah. a little more flavorful tonight, which is it the is. first time ever. Aubrey says I picked up Emerald Giant last week. Looking forward to trying the Lost Monarch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think all these are really solid, solid bourbons or solid whiskeys. I, I've been enjoying all three of them quite a lot. And like I said, I thought it was going to be good, better, best bourbon, rye, boo rye. And again, boo rye not something that I usually gravitate toward. It's I'm, I like a I like to know what I'm drinking. I like a, a straight ahead bourbon. I like a straight ahead rye whiskey because I get really into bourbon notes and whiskey, like mm -hmm. rye whiskey notes. I like the grain notes that you get. Um, so it's going to be interesting. It's, it's the Lost Monarch is surprisingly good. There's the mash and drum. This is really Jason, how you doing, man? How are you? Welcome. I am um, pleasantly surprised by these, I will say. Yeah. It is interesting going, you know, we'll read it, just do them all and then kind of A-B test them around. It uh, almost confuses your your brain a little bit trying to figure out what you like. I do, I mean, I generally like everything. Yeah. So I think that's one of my real problems. <laughs> I need to be more. Uh, You're discerning enough. I need to be more discerning. 
Exactly. <laughs> John Beckham says, I knew you were a tech. Um, you, I knew you were a tech. I'm a developer of 30 plus years. And yeah, we can smell our own. That's for sure. Lava Man says, swing through Denver. Plenty of good whiskey hunting around here. I'll tell you what. We, we will, Denver's on our list. We will be there. We're trying to decide exactly when to get through there. Um, we have, we're either going to go there before we go to Bozeman or after we go to Bozeman um, for a, uh, a van collective get together thing that we're doing. Well, second one, because we did, what was it called on our local mountain? Um, van, shoot, what was it called? The van thing, the van. Oh, that. The van gathering. It's whatever so the heck, that, that was the worst thing of all time because people just showed up. And it wasn't even vans, it was just people with generators. It was brutal. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Except for the hurricane last night. Well, we're glad you're okay, not so old granddad. Hang in there. Doing the nine to five and making the vids. I know it ain't easy, but appreciate the fun you guys bring in the community. We thank you. We re we appreciate that recognition. It is not easy. It's difficult, uh, but uh, it's worth it. And it's uh, it you know fun. it's all kinds of fun. We've we've had a blast with this and the community that's growing and the way that uh, we've been embraced and supported has been incredible. We we only hope that we're doing um, justice to to whiskey tube and to you know the bourbon community, the whiskey community. Yeah. From Ohio, my son's enrolling at Oregon State in the fall. Always enjoy when you Ooh. record outdoors. Cheers. Mark, that's fantastic. We were just, when did we pass through there? Um, You're going to, we're terrible. What, what we're am I, what am I saying? We're terrible Oregonians. Corvallis, Corvallis, right? Corvallis, right? That's where the university is. Yeah, Corvallis. yeah, yeah. We just were there a month and a half ago. Yeah. Um, love the area. It's Great. beautiful. That's, that's the, between that and Eugene, there's bike trails and, multi-use trails that go for for miles and forever out there it's great i will say that side of the cascades i mean it's really great here because we're kind of on the deserty side so we're on the other side of the cascades the east side um and so it gets a little bit dry it's warmer very sunny right like yeah. we hardly get any rain which is a huge thumbs up but we do get so snow but now that it's been like 95 plus degrees for like three weeks when i got redirected and flew into Eugene, which is two and a half hours past on the west side. It was like 70 degrees when we landed and it almost made made us move, right. like immediately. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, Dr. Dub says, I was in Bozeman, uh, I was in Montana. I love Bozeman, I was in Montana from 16 to 20, great town. Um, we need some beta on running trails there. Holler at us if you're a runner and you've been to Bozeman or, or no, or Walker, uh, we're whatever. looking, we're looking to put together about 20 miles of trails when we're there, um, in the near future. But, yep. uh, Hey, look, we, we're, well, we've got a visitor here. Oh, Norman was supposed to host tonight. Um, oh, yeah, we did promise Bo, a little hosting. Um, <laughs> uh, Bo, Bo McCroskey suggested that Bo, that, uh, Norman was going to host tonight. Yeah. Um, but Hey, we, we want to, um, wrap this thing up because, um, Jason C mash and drum, is hosting our friends Stuff and Whiskey tonight on his channel. And we want to give you guys time uh, to pour something else and uh, you know take your restroom break or whatever you need to do. Um, so we're we're going to start to wrap this up, and that's going to we're going to start by choosing a winner of the shirt tonight. Well, should we? Yes. Okay, we can do that. Well, what do you want to do? Well, I was going to say we didn't close out our our uh, what we thought. Um, our well, one, two, threes, or our best. Well, so, somebody best, best better. Best, somebody good, did. Best, better. Somebody did make a suggestion up here. So for me, for me, it's the uh, the rye is good, the bourbon's this better, so and the uh, lost monarch is best. Um, but somebody suggested that we they they asked. I didn't see who it was. They asked if we could out blend lost monarch by blending our rye and bourbon. Do you want to try that? There's yes, <laughs> only because we're like you'll recall when I. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan, <laughs> better late than another. Oh, hey, brother. Tristan. Well done. Um, only because when I smelled the last uh, monarch, yeah, I was I was kind of smelling these two glasses, thinking like, could it potentially already be a combo of these two? Right? Like, is it? I'm not going to give you guys a, a, an ADHD pour here. I, I'm not that uh, steady handed. I'm going to go nice and close. I'm I'm going for it. Let's try it. I like it. The, I will say that the profiles are are fairly close and and uh, interesting enough that I, I think this could work out. I'm gonna oh, say it's a lot more difficult to multitask with a cat on your lap. I think you're doing great. 
<laughs> Wait, so I didn't blend mine yet. And per usual, they're not equal, even though, like, look how hilarious this is. And I think this is because I always try to figure things out, so I just drink Ooh. more. Um, I love the nose on this all of a sudden. But my rye is so much less than my bourbon. Like, I drank so much more of the rye, I think, because I was so confused by it. That's that's actually a really good point. I agree. I like the nose on this. All right, let's see. All right. Oh, wait, but let's see. By the way, oh um, no, the noses are different. I'm gonna say it right right away when you yeah. combine. Of course, mine weren't. I should have probably done a better. Doing also, yeah. Well, we can yeah. let these sit for about a month, and then we'll know for sure. <laughs> True. <laughs> they have those kits now, right? They can make your own. Bye. Okay, Norman. Norman came and gone. He's mm -hmm. he's out of here. He got an early dinner, so he's gonna be a little difficult tonight. <laughs> You're a real, real problem there. So, no, no he's the best problem. Um, by the way, there's a conversation going on here about um, just can't get into Makers. Um, makers 46 and Makers 101 have been stellar for us. And beyond that, I haven't really gotten into any Makers. You just you just said Makers 101, but I don't what is it? That was the one that we were given a sample of. I believe Purple, oh, I believe oh, purple oh, oh, Brain oh. blessed us with a sample. Oh, I didn't really, is that what it's called, 101? Yeah, it's 101 proof. Oh, I loved that. If you recall the Five Sit Friday number three, maybe? Yeah. Maybe Five Sit Friday number three? Watch them all and you'll find it in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's my plug. Watch the Five Sit Fridays. They're really fun. We love the Five Sit Fridays. Um, it's our favorite thing to do. Yeah. Um, I was blown away. I, not blown away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was kind of. I loved it. I thought it was so good. Okay. I haven't tried this. Have you tried it? Yeah. It, almost, it smells almost a little perfumey to me mixing it. Yeah, this is actually a good point, Tristan. Didn't work for your 1915. I don't expect this will work either. I will say this. It's, it's not the that rye it's... is settled down and the bourbon is lifting nose... up. It's enhanced a little bit. I like this. The nose is better on the Lost Mar. I will say that straight away. Without... I would agree. It's more complex. Yeah. And it's more balanced. It is, I mean, the sweetness, the, you, you start with the bourbon sweetness and you relax into the rye spice. And the finish just sort of carries you away with this Lost Monarch. I, I think it's fantastic. Oh. This is this is a very good whiskey. And for forty dollars, I think it's unique. Oh no! And we keep, yeah, the Lost keep, Monarch is better. Yeah, we keep talking about um, Michter's Michter's yeah. uh, Straight Rye for forty six bucks, um, mm -hmm. low proof. We said, okay, it's unique. We had we had trouble. We didn't want to buy it because it was expensive expensive for the amount of proof. Yeah. Same thing with Old Elk blended bourbon. We thought forty-five dollars or fifty-five, what it was on the shelf at the time, was so much better than we expected it to be for that price. So yeah. uh, at low proof, and um, this is another one of those forty dollars. You don't expect it to be so good. This is a very, very nice, balanced, flavorful whiskey. I like this a lot. And Tristan, to your point about the nineteen fifteen, I think that was my biggest complaint about. It. Like, it's not that it wasn't delicious. Of course, it was delicious, but it professionals are making this. And then yeah. Phil and Julie just combined two to make this. And it's still good, but like when you taste them side by side, you can really tell the difference between, you know, somebody put their love into this yeah. and their knowledge, not just love, but they put their knowledge into making like a delicious, you know, I completely blue agree. Rye. A professional made that. Yeah. And some jerk made this. That's the difference. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm looking for a number picker wheel here. I found oh, yeah, one. Uh, we're going to pick the the shirts that you guys can get onto your next stream. So I will say, okay, so we have a couple shirts available that you that Phil will probably be in touch with you, the winner. Mm -hmm. um, so he's wearing one of our originals, the bourbon. Which is, is no longer available. The new logo shirt is actually a much larger logo. I know it's interesting because yeah. I we're a little split on this because I kind of liked the logo. The smaller logo. He likes it big, whatever. So we got the new shirt, right? With uh, Norman playing the guitar, which I think is flipping amazing. Um, and then we have the Red Man shirt, which if you haven't watched the Red Man episode, that was a Five Sit Friday. Five Sit Friday number four, yeah. Um, hilarious. And then we have another Norman shirt where he's just talking about drinking whiskey. So we've got a couple things. We're we're coming out with some stuff. We're trying we're trying to keep up. Scott, you're absolutely right. I forgot SE4, PR5, and FAE01. The Wood Finishing mm. Fury series is fantastic. Okay, so we have 46 lines here based on those of you who uh, contributed, and thank you so much. I have uh, a... 
we didn't discuss this before, but do you need me a sword or like? Do you just, want to scramble them? Yeah. Do you want me to scramble? Because right now it's just like you know. Do you know how to do that quickly? Yeah, my um, nerdy account management brain do can do that. Let's do it. Let's see if it worked or didn't work. I found a I found a website called pickerwheel.com. Should work great for this. I'm gonna randomize. Oh, oh look at that. Look we at just, that. I just randomized. Okay, so right. everyone is all random did. You, you random thank you, John. Yeah. Hey! Same time. We're I on a 10 second delay, but you nailed it for you must have been right on top of it. We know you were. Uh, I was like okay. looking the A to Z. I'm like, that's not gonna help at all. So here we go. Pickerwheel.com, press the button to spin it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's see if it goes. Here we go. Oh my goodness, it's really going. Oh, I'm gonna put it right in front of Julie's face. Number 45, who do we got here? What if there's no 45? There's gotta be. That'd be hilarious. Tristan! Tristan, look at you. Look at you, you champion. Wait a minute, did, did, was he the one that jumped in the last I was gonna say, second. he came in at the last minute not wanting to miss the t-shirt. Look at this. Look at him, he called a shot. Yeah. You're like the Babe Ruth of bourbon t-shirts. You well did. Done. You, called, you called the home <laughs> run and you got it, Tristan. Well, well, you know Phil. He'll he'll reach out to you. Yeah, I will be in touch with you. But Tristan. check out the new keytar. It's I mean, I think it's hilarious. Look, it's got final records. It's I know. Cat on a keytar. It's Julie playing the hits. Um, you can well, have whatever you want. There you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> it came in late and stole it. Absolutely. Thank you so much to everybody <laughs> who contributed via super chat tonight. Thank you so much to yeah. all of you who have participated and have have come out and supported us. It's really um, it's phen phenomenal, and we're going to do a lot more of this stuff, but we don't want to keep you too long because we know you've got other yeah. live streams to get to. So. And I just want to say we're very grateful. Like, yeah. We have quite a few Patreons now that is very, un in my opinion, very unexpected, and I feel very touched and honored that you want to spend your your days with us. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've got um, a whole a whole number of them. I'm not going to count them all out right now, but... Uh, uh, yeah, we just uh, thank yeah. you so much to all of you. This is a uh, phenomenal community. We are having an awfully great time. Yeah. And uh, and we wanted to keep this one short and sweet. We know you yeah. have places to be on a Wednesday. Yeah, coins, by the way, are coming. And they're, they're first, they will be, Patreons will be receiving the coins from $5 and up. So absolutely, cho coins are coming and we'll be selling them as well. Yes. Um, and? Live stream next Wednesday. Because yeah. it's officially our 100th video, which to me, when Phil pitched this idea of starting the Bourbon Channel, seemed insane. So yeah. I'm I'm pretty pumped. So come back next week if uh, you want to hang out with us again. <laughs> one more, <laughs> one more shout out to Tristan because well done, bud. Uh, we'll be in touch with you, Tristan. And uh, again, thank you, everyone. And uh, we're gonna be hanging out, watching Jason uh, mash and drum. Tonight, we're going to watch his live stream, so we'll join you guys over there in just a couple of minutes, and uh, we'll watch him chat with Stuff and Whiskey. should be a fun night. So thanks again, yeah. everybody, for joining us, and we'll see you over there. Cheers. Bye, guys. <laughs>